Hi, I'm Dom Herling, 2024, running back and safety for Pelham High School, and you're watching Friday Night Football on WMUR. Welcome to week three of Friday Night Football. Feels like this season is flying by already. 17 games tonight. Let's get you right to it. Our game of the week featuring two teams looking for win number one, Manchester Memorial and Winnicott. It. Let's head to Hampton for the FNF Game of the Week. One of these teams getting, will get their first one of the season and try to get this season back on the right track. First quarter, Winnicott QB Riley McDaniel drops back to pass, slings it to his tight end, Jacob Magri for the big game in the first down. They would get a field goal out of it. Shout out to Jim the Dog making an appearance from UNH. He fetches tees after kickoffs at Wildcat, Wildcat games. Got to love it. There's a candidate for catch of the year. McDaniel hits Logan Lociato on the slant. He makes a ridiculous grab behind his back. Take a closer look. The ball bounces off his hand, off his helmet, and he still hauls it in. Incredible. Definitely one of the better catches we'll probably see all season. Second quarter. Memorial goes to work. Connor McFarlane on the keeper. Somehow emerges from the chaos and runs for a big first down pickup. Crusaders on the move. That would lead to a two-yard touchdown run by Eric Seymour. Memorial had a big second half. They went on to beat Winnicott at 32 to 11. Keenan Befford, one of the New Hampshire tackles, hungers game this weekend. The Befford defense was dominant in their state title run last season. Nothing has changed. Alex Rudinska says, give that to me. He picks it off, gets some yards after the INT. Time for the Bulldogs offense to work. This running game has looked legit this season. Brody Helton is one of the reasons why. They are not going to bring him down. He scores six. Another threat out of the backfield for Bedford, Nate Clark. He adds to the scoring here. Bedford gets his second straight shutout of the season, 35 nothing. nothing. Bulldogs have allowed just three points through three games. The Winham Jaguars are 2-1 after defeating Alvern, 49-14. Pinkerton is 3-0. The Astros taking down Timberlane, 51-13. Well, this next highlight was one of the top games in D1. Both Dover and Portsmouth Oyster River have looked impressive to start the season. Which one would continue on undefeated? Let's see right now as we pick it up in the fourth quarter. Portsmouth Oyster River up 17-14. Aiden Thomas connects with his Clipper Cats receiver Angus Moss for a massive 40-yard gain. Takes it inside the Dover 10-yard line. Then Thomas on the keeper, runs it in for the score of the home team. Taking a 24-14 lead. Under four minutes to go in the game, Dover QB Ryder Aubin finding Bryce Carberry for a 28-yard TD. He bullies his way into the end zone to make it a two-point game. As expected, this was a good one. Corey Smith Oyster River wins by two, 24-22. The Clipper Cats are 3-0. Central at Londonderry. Student section at the Swamp locked in and ready. Central trying to silence that noise, though Trevor Wan gets it and runs hard up the middle before getting tackled. The Lancers were ready to light up the scoreboard. Sophomore Adrian Cruz takes it up the right sideline. He leaves into the end zone for the score. More from Londonderry. Gabe Dantas fakes the handoff and he scores everyone on the Londonderry side. Loving it. A good night in the Swamp. The Lancers win, continuing to impress. 47-0 the final. They're 3-0. Moving to D2, Plymouth and Merrimack. This was another New Hampshire tackles hunger game. A big night for the Plymouth Bobcats. Luke Diamond rolls out and uses his legs to get it done. He reaches the end zone. He finished with two rushing scores and a passing TD. Bobcats back on offense. Diamond to Gabe Keen on the screen, and he's out. One of the big plays of this game. Plymouth shutting out Merrimack Valley 35-0. The Bobcats are 3-0. More scores, Hanover is 2-1, the Bears defeating Milford 35-6. Roger Lucas had a big pick, 6 for 70 yards. Jeffrey Vidal and David Frechetti had mul multiple TDs. Vidal had over 200 yards rushing. And Kennett still undefeated after beating Laconia 20-10. All right, the Battle of the Birds, Guilford, Belmont, Golden Eagles, and the Bow Falcons. Bow with the 27-14 lead in the third. Running back Gavin McAbee adds to the lead, scoring his third touchdown of the game. A monster night for the senior. How about another rushing TD? Guilford Belmont's Noah Harder cuts to the outside. He crosses the line for the score. Bo gets his first win of 2023, 34-21. Coach Paul Cohen told me Jared Dowler was the player of this game. Four PATs and hitting 35 and 40-yard field goals. St. Thomas improving to 2-1 and one after a 15-9 win over Sanborn. Trent Sellyards had a 79-yard interception return for a score. Michael Skyron had a touchdown run as well. 
Salhegan continues to roll through its schedule. The Sabres win 53 0 over Manchester West. Pelham still hasn't lost in a long time. The Pythons win 48 0 over John Stark. Dom Herlin went off 141 yards rushing and three scores. He also added an 85 yard kickoff return for a score. In D3 action, Interlakes Moltenboro was at Monadnock. The Huskies were fired up for this one. Visiting team strikes first. Interlakes Moltenboro's Bray and Aruda throws a deep pass to Kobe Kidney. Nobody's going to catch him. He takes it all the way to the house. Lakers take a 6 0 lead. More from the Lakers. Here comes Garrett Hayward. Finds an opening and scores. Lakers take a 14 0 lead in the first. The Huskies need a stop and they get one. Benjamin Deed will pick off Aruda. Monadnock takes over. And on third down will be a nice run by Monadnock's Torn Dabrisky. Interlakes. Moltenboro goes on to win it 17-3. Kingswood and Kearsars going at it. One of these squads was going to get their first W of the season. Kearsars down 7-0 early on. Colin Coro has a Jack Scorsoria in the back corner of the end zone. That's a touchdown. The Cougars led 8-7 after the two-point conversion, but Kingswood answers. Brady Clark takes it, and he's gone. More running game from Kingswood. Serafin Agramante gets his chance to show out now, and he does just that. Kingswood wins it 23-8. They get win number one on the season. And the two-time defending D4 chance, Summersworth, 50 to nothing over Mascoma Valley. Deshaun Shepard had over 170 yards and four scores. Seth Farrell had two scores, and Kate Bickford had a touchdown as well. And a reminder, you can watch all of our Friday night football shows on our website, WMUR.com, and click on sports or watch on our mobile app.